Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm still at my mom's house. I'm doing a three video series and this is video number two of um, her Goodwill haul. I kind of wanted to break it up so that everything wouldn't be uh, one long video. And I hope you appreciate that because you know, sometimes I get bored with looking at uh, things over and over. But this one's going to be her silver. But she found something at the Goodwill that was so unique and so neat. She thought about it, then she left, she came home, and we talked about it, and she says, you know what, I think I'm gonna go back and get these. And let me show you what it is. You see that? She's gonna build a table based around these four items. I'm gonna see if I can try to hold them all into the camera here. And then I'll tell you all about them. This is a really cute little wine glass there. And then the water goblet that goes along with them. She has all four of these. She paid $1.50 for them a piece on the 75% off. Let's see, can you see all four of these? I'm gonna move the camera down. All right. She paid $1.50 for them each. She has a set of eight, and she's going to polish them up because it's silver around here, it's silver real silver and so it, in some spots they have started to tarnish like silver will do if it gets air to it it'll start to oxidize and it can tarnish and she started cleaning this one up particularly and you can already see how pretty it has become just in the little time that she's taken this one and cleaned it up don't worry about the water spots that's where she's been cleaning it up at and so she'll do all of those she'll decorate her tablescape and I'll come over and let you see what it looks like once she's got it complete but there's more silver that she found and she's already started polishing some of them and amazing. When I say amazing, like I just love my mom so much. She is the best Goodwill hauler in the entire world that belongs to me, my mother. So let me show you first what she found. These two adorable, uniquely different candle holders. Can you see that? I hope I'm not blinding you with the light and the silver because everything here is silver. They are, um, they're very heavy, which means they have a good weight to them. They have good quality. It has outlined here and some grapes and scallops and a little leaf around the edge on each one of them. And therefore the uh, tapered candle, long tall tapered candles, these are going to be really nice sitting on her uh, tablescape. And she's going to partner them with this. Can you see that? Now, I gotta tell you this story about this. When I first saw this candle holder, and she paid $2.50 for it, I might add, $2.50. But when I first saw it, it was tarnished so bad, I thought, mama, why in the world would you get it? My mind said that, you know I ain't say that to my mama, but that's what my mind said, why in the world would you buy that? But look at how she's turned that somebody else's treasure somebody else's junk turned into my mom's treasure and this is so pretty and she's going to use it on her tablescape you probably couldn't even find this in any store nowhere near for two dollars and fifty cent it is so beautiful and she did put some elbow grease in it getting them um, back up to par but they're beautiful so she's gonna set these with these items can you picture that I can see it with this glass cup going to be really pretty and of course she's got to keep the theme going so she found a whole bunch of serving utensils and I'm just giving you like a little snippet of all the things that she found the things that I look at and go oh, I'd like to have that but look at this you see this little serving tray she's cleaned this up too and it's even got the the little bowl for the dip that goes inside of here. I don't think I've ever even seen anything like this. She finds some of the unique, some neat things and, and her vision is much broader than mine because again, I would have walked by it. It was so black, I wouldn't have even wasted my time but look at what a little time and investment has done. And she can use this tray for everything. She can put chips on here. She can put dip inside of here. She can use it as a relish tray and put some um, ranch dressing inside of it, sour cream ranch. She can use it for doubled eggs that line up along here because these are really deep curves. She can line some doubled eggs up inside of there and put some uh, little 
uh, I don't know what you put the mat pair up with deviled eggs, maybe some pickles or something inside of there. This is just a really multi-purpose tray. All right, to go also with her serving, bon appetit, dinner anyone? This is a multi-purpose, you can use it two ways. You can use this little tray table. I'll put that down. You can use this tray table, put your uh, meats or your, your mashed potatoes or anything inside of here. And then you can put this on it as a lid or, or multi-purpose, multi-purpose. You can flip this upside down and use it as a serving tray as well. You see that? How about you put the mashed potatoes in here and the gravy in here? How about you got green beans and corn? Maybe if you have meatballs and whatever goes with meatballs. I don't know, I'm not a cook, so hey, you figure it out. But it's multi-purpose. All items that she's found out the Goodwill, she's polished them up and she has them ready to serve. And when she does, she's going to use these beautiful goblets that she found multiple sizes she found four of them she's got a set of eight that she's going to go with it all right so i also wanted to share with you what she uses to clean all of those silver pieces and it's this um she found this via another y2 family member it is called never dull and it's just a can of um paint that she uses it helps brush up the uh ooh, i can't hardly get it open pop it open here oh Oh, look, you just tear off a piece of this um, fabric and use it to polish up the um, silver. Never dull. It kind of smells like shoe polish. And it says it's a, a wadding polish cleaning for, cleans all polishes and metals. Never dull. And I'll tell you, as a matter of fact, I'll give you an example of how it works. I just take a small piece, and this is a little bowl that she found. Do you see all that tarnish that's on this bowl? We're gonna take a little bit of it and give it to you here. She didn't plan on me coming over here to do work and I didn't plan on it either, but that's all right. It's for y'all, it's for our YouTube family. We'll make sure that you guys know how these things work. And see, we'll do a little test on it here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Can you see that? It's coming off. Turn around, turn around. I'm just gonna do this little corner. And then do we wipe it off with something here? All right, we'll get some soap and water because we need to wipe it off. After you polish it up in the area, you wipe it off with some soap and water. All right, and you just take some soap. Ooh, look at that. See what we got off of there? Take some soap and water and rub that off. And then I'm gonna take another dry cloth and I'm gonna wipe the soap and water off. Man, can you see that? I don't want to blind y'all because I know it really cleaned it up. But this is before. Do you see the tarnish before and the after? And this is only with one rub. This was my first run through. If I do this again, it'll take it off even more. And this is called Never Dull. If you find some silver items at GW, the Goodwill, that you think you don't want to get, get this Never Dull and put this on here, you'll be able to clean things up. Suppose we could go to Lowe's, but the Lowe's where we live didn't have this, but we did find it at the auto parts store, O'Reilly's. So shout out to O'Reilly's for having Never Dull which is used for multiple purposes of cleaning and polishing all kinds of metals. And you can see how great it's working on this. And we've only done one round through. So, if you think you've um, found finds, hidden treasures are all over the place at the Goodwill. Ladies, I'm telling you, if you are not a Goodwill shopper, and I know that there are some of you out there who really are. I know Elle loves going Goodwill shopping, and um, Helen H. also loves the Goodwill. We've been sleeping on some beautiful, worthy finds. And um, why don't you tell me right now, tell me what you think. Like my page, leave me a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. Remember, this is video number two of three on my mother's Goodwill hauls. I'll be back at you in a few moments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.